Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, today is a special day here in the US. It's going to be the April 8th solar eclipse. So I came here on the totality path. Uh, it's a uh, city next to Ontario Lake, which is right behind me. Um, it's called Oswego. Um, I was hoping for a better weather, you know, not as cloudy, but uh, let's just hope for the best, you know. Still 20 minutes until the eclipse will be starting. So let's see how it goes. So guys, I'm so excited. The eclipse is about to start in four minutes. Uh, the clouds are spreading, so we have big chances to see the eclipse as we should see it. Um, I really look forward to it. So excited. So guys, I don't know if you can see, but the eclipse has already started. So as you see the screen right now, it's um, kind of southeast part of the sun, the moon, uh, the moon shadow is starting to cover the uh, surface of the sun. I'm so excited. So guys, I left that place because it was really, really clouded and I couldn't see um, much from there. Now I'm in my car and the eclipse has started. Um, I don't know how much you can see, but this is what I, so I'm trying to move to a different spot where the eclipse is more visible. Besides where I was before, it was forecasted rain. So absolutely not. The sun is almost 50% um, covered by the shadow of the moon. I'm also trying to make take some pictures with my um, my phone. Uh, for some reason, through this window of my car, the visibility is much better than um, the eclipse glasses oh my god look now so I'm I'm taking a video but now you can see how much of the Sun is covered so I would say it's maybe yeah maybe it's it, it's like 50% right now and I'm in the totality path which is great As you guys can see, it's so clouded and the sky is fully covered in clouds. Uh, there is no um, sign of the sun currently, but we are waiting for the totality. And apparently when totality will happen, we will be able to see um, the sun fully. And it's going to be dark for a bit more than three minutes um, in the location that I'm currently in. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I sit here so comfortably, I don't have to be outside, uh, outside is a bit more chilly because we are next to the water, but inside here is so comfy and I still get to see the, the full sky.
So I just noticed this bird in the sky acting so strange. And from what I know is that, uh, oh my God, it's getting dark. It's almost full. Um, the, usually the animals act strange before an eclipse. And that bird was acting so strange. It's almost full, just a tiny bit more until totality. Oh my God, and it's getting so dark. <gasps> I love it. I love it. So guys, look how, how dark it is outside. And you know, I noticed something strange. There are some dark lines on the sky. Um, it feels like nighttime in the middle of the day. And like a sunset on that side. And um, I, I mean, it's just amazing. I know it's my second eclipse. Uh, that I get to leave the last one. I was so young, I can barely remember. But. I mean, it still amazes me, regardless of the age or um, the place where you are in this world. And you get to witness something like that, and it's absolutely amazing. Well, it, it's beyond, uh, beyond words. Wow, You can actually feel the drop in the temperature and now it's getting light again. Oh my god. So the the eclipse did not last more than I mean the dark. I don't think it lasted more than three minutes as it was supposed to be lasting. I think it was a bit shorter than that. But hey ho, there you go. Um, it's daylight again. <laughs> and I didn't need to use the glasses at all because we obviously missed the uh, diamond rings because of the clouds, uh, which is a complete shame. Now it's getting lighter and lighter and now uh, that was it folks. That was the entire eclipse. Upstate New York, nothing um, spectacular. Such a shame.